Hi Gemini, welcome to your weekly reading, June 6th, 16th to the 22nd. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're returning, thank you, thank you. And if you're new, welcome, welcome. And if you're new, please do check the description box below. Any and all information that you need is there. So please do go check that out. And this is for Gemini in either Sun, Moon, Rising or Jupiter. This is a general collective reading, so it may or may not resonate. Parts may, parts may not. I would suggest maybe watching other signs in your chart. I do have a free link below um, to get your free uh, breath chart so you will know other signs in your chart and feel free to watch those. Only take what resonates, throw the way, throw away the rest, including the signs I mentioned. Um, so if you'd like to speed up this reason, this reading, you can also go to the settings icon and speed it up if you'd like it to move along faster, Gemini. Kind of tongue-tied tonight, Gemini. What's going on? Kind of tongue-tied. All right. All right. Hopefully I'm not going to be like that through the whole reading, but let's see what's going on with Gemini the week of June 16th through the 22nd. I am now doing weekly readings instead of monthly readings. So now all the signs are getting a weekly and a love reading. So if you don't want to miss out on that, please do subscribe so uh, you don't miss it and hit the bell and you'll be notified of when I upload my new readings. So don't miss out on that. All right. So Gemini, I think that's good. Gemini, planet, sign, or element. See what could be affecting you. 16th through the 22nd. Time energy is fluid. This doesn't have to be just for the 16th to the 22nd. This can be past, present, or future energy. All right. One sign for Gemini. One sign card. One card for Gemini. Kind of energy 16th to the 22nd. You have one card. Okay. That one wants to stay in my hand. Sagittarius. So this had flipped around in my hand a few times. So some of you could be dealing with the fire sign, a Sagittarius, or you could have it in your chart. Um, or know somebody uh, that may have it in their chart, or it could just be that fire energy of being very um, passionate and passionate and determined, courageous and brave, being a go-getter, going after what you want. That was kind of like the fire sign energy. So it could just be the energy, or you could actually have a Sagittarius somewhere around you, friend, family, co-worker. This is general, but I guess if you can fit it into a love situation, you can do it as such. All right, so I'm getting here. If you are watching this and your moon is Gemini, maybe your sun is Sagittarius, your sun sign, or your rising sign. Or if your Gemini is your sun sign, maybe uh, Sagittarius is your rising sign. Or even your Jupiter sign. Okay. So let's get your main message, Gemini. Your main message. What is the message most needed for Gemini the week of June 16th to the 22nd? We have receiving from angels, shimmering wings of angels, embrace me with love. So... Whatever you're going through right now, just know that you have your angel team around you, um, protecting you, uh, and probably trying to connect with you, um, sending you messages, sort of leading you in a way, protecting you, and they do love you, so you have to know that. Okay, so let's see. If you're going through a tough time right now, just know that they are around you, protecting you. And what's on the bottom of the deck? Launching your journey. I am I am an intrepid traveler sailing forth into the universe. Launching your journey. So maybe you're traveling, going on vacation. Maybe you are starting a new endeavor and you're traveling. Or whatever it is you're doing or uh, starting to do or this new endeavor, you have to travel. No. We shall see. We shall see for Gemini what's going on with you. 16th through 22nd for Gemini. One more shuffle. 
All the decks were pre-shuffled cut ahead of time, and they are all listed below if you're interested in that. All right, so what's going on with Gemini? 16th to the 22nd, one card for Gemini to see how they are feeling. What is their energy like? 16th to the 22nd, Spirit, please, for Gemini. Thank you so much. One card for Gemini. I think that's it right there. Let's see what we have. So we have the Nine of Pentacles. So you are working on yourself, your finances, your career, becoming independent. For some of you, becoming single, independent, uh, self-serving, having growth and abundance, and knowing your own worth being very uh, independent here and doing what's best for you and moving forward. All right, so let's see why or what is around you that you're feeling this way. The Nine of Swords and the Hierophant. So there was something here you were committed to. Uh, it could have been a job. It could have been a relationship here. The Hierophant talks about commitment, can be about marriage and that sort of thing. But something here left you very stressed and anxious and nervous energy here, not sleeping at night, um, maybe even having nightmares, very worried, anxious, stressed out energy here. Could have been, you know, a marriage or this is a general reading, so it could have been something you were very committed to one time as your something in your career or something like that, or even your faith or your religion. Maybe your you're having a change of heart about your religion. And now you're changing your whole uh, outlook on your faith, your spirituality, as you have angels here. Maybe you're taking a whole new path. Because maybe something happened in your community here with the Nine of Swords. Because then when you get to the Ten, that's an ending. Because you have two Nines here. All right, so let's see what your actual situation is. The Five of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands. So, so over here we have Air Energy, the Nine of Swords, which is your energy, and then we have the Hierophant is Taurus, and then the Pentacles is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, and now we have Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Two of Pentacles, Earth again, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Wand energy now is the fire, Leo, Sag, Aries. So the five of cups here. So you're feeling sad and lonely and left out in the cold, having a little bit of loss and heartbreak. But you're trying to balance things out, balance out your energy here with the two of pentacles, trying to make decisions, doing what's best for you. And then you have a, a page of wands here. So this is communication. So this is... Um, either you communicating or offers coming into you, uh, communicating an offer. Um, this could also be um, a new spiritual connection for you in some way. Maybe you've had some sort of connection to your angels and it changed your whole outlook on your faith and your religion. And now it's almost like you're turning your back on something here. Because something happened in a Something you were committed to here left you too stressed and, and, and the train's going by to confront me this. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear the train going by. It's about a mile, not even a mile down the road. Um, working on yourself, moving forward, leaving something behind here that was left you sad, heartbroken, lonely, stressed out. Some sort of commitment could have been you were committed to your religious following here and now you decided to walk away from that you know looking into different because you see this look like a very spiritual card here so maybe looking looking into different spiritual paths and now i feel like this is like the connection of like the communication coming in connecting with a whole new spiritual realm whole new spiritual connection and this may may not be for everybody so if it's not that this could be um a new job offer coming in uh, are you setting out on your new endeavor here because we did have launching your journey so I feel like here you see the water here and then here you see the ships in the background 
and you see this woman here getting ready to set out on her journey. So you're setting out on some kind of new journey here. Either you're setting out in a new career, a new spiritual path, uh, just a new independent lifestyle. So these readings can be very, very general with different messages, and sometimes they can be very specific. So please keep that in mind. If you would like a very detailed, specific reading on your uh, situation, then I would suggest reaching out for personal reading. All right, so let's see what your advice is, whatever your situation is here. I have several different um, storylines here. So let's see what your advice is now. The King of Pentacles, wow. And the Three of Wands. So you know where you're going. This is a card of traveling in a way. This is waiting for your ships to come in. You made your plans. You know where you're going. You know what you want to do here. You're just waiting for the right time. Patiently waiting for the right time for your ships to come in. Launch out on that journey. Because you will be successful here with the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, King of Pentacles, sorry. So we have Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Fire again, Leo, Sagittarius. So stand firm, stand strong here with the King of Pentacles energy. Stand up for what you believe in, what you think is right for you, moving forward, because you will have success, abundance, growth, prosperity, King of your domain, King of your Pentacles, wealth and abundance. You know, you may have to wait a little bit longer here with the Three of Wands energy, you know, patiently waiting. Um... You know, this moon isn't quite full yet, so maybe by the next full moon, which I'm not sure when that is, the 17th. So this is the 16th through the 22nd. Next full moon is on the 17th, so <laughs> maybe next week you're going to be launching out on that journey. Your ship will come in and you'll be taking off and stand firm and stand strong and be stable and grounded in your energy here. Okay, so let's see what your outcome, possible outcome could be. The star. So this is faith, hope, optimism, Aquarius energy, healing energy. Um, this is being very balanced, being guided spiritually um, to divine, to source here, being, being spiritually guided, following your path, following that star. And all your dreams will come true, so wishes and hoping for uh, your journey here. And this is telling you your wish, your wishes, your hopes, your dreams will come true here with the star energy. Wow, so dreams coming true for you, Gemini. May not happen 16th to the 22nd, but the energy is here. Okay, so let's see bottom of the deck what we have. The Ace of Swords. So here's another brand new beginning. Wow. So, and this is your energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So here is your Sword of Victory. King, King of Pentacles here. There's your crown, and you came out as the King of Pentacles, being the king of your endeavor, your situation, whatever you're going for. You're divinely guided. You're having truth, clarity. This could be a big spiritual awakening. This could be um, cutting out things no longer serving you, as you have the stress and anxiety here, or nine here. I feel you walked, you walked away from something or you're about to, whether it's your faith, religion that you're following, or a job, or a career. I feel like you're going in a whole new path of some kind, a whole new lifestyle, because you came out as the Nine of Pentacles. So, and here's your, your standing in your truth, your clear thinking, standing up, standing up for yourself, speaking with truth and clarity, again, cutting away those things not serving you, Big aha moment, realization, epiphany, big spiritual awakening, success and victory. You just see with the crown. Wow, nice. Page of Pentacles. So, you know, it's slow energy, so this may take some time. Uh, this is communication again. Um, or maybe even doing research or going back to school with the Page of Pentacles energy. Uh, maybe you have to, there's some learning you need to do, courses you need to take. Whatever you're doing here, you're learning, you're growing, and you will have stability here. The Magician. So yeah, you are manifesting this new beginning. And this is um, Gemini and Virgo. So this is your energy. So you are manifesting this brand new beginning. One is a brand new beginning. 
So I definitely feel like here you're going in a new direction in your life, whatever it is for you, and you're manifesting this new beginning. Two of Swords. So you may have been indecisive at a time. Uh, the Two of Swords energy, your energy again. Not quite sure what to do, where to go, how to do it. What should I do? When should I do it? Where should I go? You know, all those questions in your mind. But then, you know, the light finally shone through here and you finally made up your mind and you made a clear conscious decision here with the swords. Finally made up your mind to move forward in a whole new direction. Yeah, you walked away from something no longer serving you. Eight of Cups energy, left it behind, was not serving you anymore in any way. And now you have the sun, Leo energy, happiness, joy, success, victory, growth, expansion, healing energy, being enlightened and guided along the way. Happy home and family. Wow. Happiest card, most positive card in the deck. And again, with this energy of leaving your energy again, leaving things behind no longer serving you and moving forward, being divinely guided here and moving forward in this new direction, more calmful, peaceful, healing, harmonious uh, place you're heading to. Wow. Judgment, making that final judgment call. It's a Scorpio. So forgiving things of the past, you know, that happened in the past, forgiving those things, but yet moving on. Um, and just finally making a judgment, final judgment call of doing what's best for you and defending yourself, standing up for what you believe in, not backing down with the seven of wands, fire energy, not backing down, standing up for your beliefs, your goals, your desires, your passion, what you're striving for towards this victory or a better place that you're going standing up for what you believe in as with the fire energy so it could just be the energy of a fire sign that you're embodying right now and not necessarily dealing with a fire sign in any way all right so let's get a card of guidance for you now gemini card of guidance for you gemini. one card for gemini june Oh, okay, that one wanted to stick. 16th to the 22nd. Action, movement, perseverance, discipline, motivation. Number three, and this is all about the uh, base chakra. These are chakra cards. So this is about your basis, your foundation, your structure, your stability. So you're doing what's best for you. Here, and you're taking action you're making that positive movement forward you're having that perseverance to keep going being very very disciplined in what you're doing and you have that fiery motivation to keep moving forward doing what's best for you wow Gemini let's see what's on the bottom of the deck now solar plexus chakra exactly that's your soul purpose your soul identity your soul mission that fire in your belly the solar plexus is located at your belly, between your belly button and just below your um, chest area. So it's your, you know, belly area. So, you know, the solar plexus is all about, you know, your identity, your, your soul mission, your soul purpose, your soul identity energy. So keep going here, following your soul mission, your soul purpose here. Moving forward, that action, taking that action, I feel like you're being divinely guided here. In some way, you've been divinely guided to move in this new direction. And I see you doing it and being very happy, successful, victorious, king of pentacles, whatever this is for you. Like I said, it's very general. I have three different storylines, so just take whatever resonates for you. So either you're just moving forward in a whole new spiritual um way or are you moving forward in a new career opportunity or are you just making whole new changes in your life and you're leaving behind your old lifestyle and you're having moving forward in a whole new lifestyle in some way whether you're recovering from something and moving forward or something like that I don't really have that energy here although we did have the eight of cups so that's a lot of cups so I mean you could have recovered from some sort of addiction here now you're, you have a whole new life 
This is what the star is healing. So you take whatever, whatever message resonates with you, Gemini. So please check the description box below to see other links to other readings for your sign. And if you like my style and how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified of when I post your weekly reading, so don't miss out on that. And any support you would like to give me it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. So thank you so much. So I wish you the best of luck here, sending you many light, love, and blessings. As I always, always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.